South Central Update, brought to you by TaylorMade. Pleased to be joined by the defending champion of the Charles Schwab Challenge, and that is Kevin Na, who is at his home in Vegas with his family. Good to hear you and everyone safe there, Kevin. Kevin, when we talked to you last month, the PGA Tour just put out its schedule for the remainder of 2020. You said you had concerns in regards to safety. Since that conversation, the tour has released a 37-page document with all the protocols uh, in regards to safety. Are you a little more comfortable now starting out on the PGA Tour compared to a month ago? Yes and no. Um, the tour has definitely done a great job of doing, or doing a lot of meetings with the players. Uh, and coming up with a best solution. Um, we still haven't played a tournament, so we still don't know what to expect, and there's still going to be some things as we adjust as we go. But just, we, I do feel better because they have all this breakdown, what they're going to do, um, sanitizing, social distancing. Um, but most of us in general are pretty young. We should be okay. But, you know, all, every life is important. If it takes one person that, that gets severely sick, then then this becomes all of a problem. So I know they're doing everything they can to be be safe and to make us feel comfortable. But at the same time, it's still the, the COVID-19 hasn't gone away. And we still feel um, some of us feel still a little bit, a little bit concerned. Um, but, you know, I, I believe that the PG Tour are going to do the right things to get this tournament going. Will those concerns equal to becoming distractions for you on the golf course? Mm. Well, I guess it could be because you start thinking about, um, you know, other things in golf, you know, you know, I got to go get tested um, at, at, the, at the host hotel or, um, you know, I might be playing well, and, you know, I'm not going outside for dinner because I don't want to all of a sudden te test positive during the middle of the tournament and then not be able to tee it up on the weekend. Um, so there's things like that. But you know, I think once the tournament starts, I think guys will be kind of into their game and, and focus on their game. So I think we'll be okay. The field looks so strong at Colonial Four. The top five mm -hmm. in the world will be there. Uh, you talked about the concerns already, and there will be no fans. What do you anticipate the atmosphere on the grounds to be like? It'll definitely be different. I mean, fans is what makes the golf tournament. Uh, the atmosphere, the roars, it, it's we feed off the fans and we love it. Um, it's not going to be the same. It's like playing at home with, you know, with, with the boys in, in, in the club and playing for a little money. Um, I mean, it, it's still going to be televised and, you know, it's going to be exciting for on TV, but even on TV without the fans, I don't think you get the same kind of, uh, of the feeling as when a guy makes a, a crucial putt or winning putt when the crowd erupts you won't have any of that um, unless you put some background piece, background noise in. So um, we're a little disappointed that there's no fans, but, um, but they're doing the right thing. Well, I mentioned how strong the field is. Uh, once competition begins, you probably are still on that short list of favorites. Why? Because you've had nearly a half dozen top tens at Colonial. You set or tied the course record with a 61 back in 2018. And of course, you're the defending champion. Why is Colonial such a good fit for you? Um, Colonial is a golf course that anybody can win on. You don't have to be a bomber. Um, it's, you have to drive it really well off the tee, and everybody kind of drives it in the same spot. And it's more of a second shot in in golf course. Yes, you have to hit it straight off the tee, but nobody really has an advantage except a few holes that they're so far ahead of somebody where you can overpower the golf course. It's an old classic golf course. It's, it's not short at all by any means. There, there's plenty of long holes out there, but um, it, it, it's just a golf course that you, know, you have to work it both ways. And, and I, I really enjoy playing there. There's, there's not, a, not a single bad hole on the golf course. Um, I, I mean, even the finishing hole on 18 is a tough finishing hole. It's a birdie hole, but at the same time, you can even make bogeys and doubles. Uh, you have to hit a nice little tight little draw off the tee. Uh, if once you hit a good tee shot, it sets you up with a fairly easy second shot, but that Sunday pin on the left, brings that water in play. Um, so, I mean, it's a great golf course. The field's gonna be best ever we've ever seen at Colonial. Um, I, know, I know the tournament Charles Schwab Challenge is excited about the field. Uh, it's, it's exciting that we're gonna, we're gonna have the best field possible. And um, it went from a 122, uh, 120 man invitation to 144. So that's, that's good news for the guys that are, are the rookies on the tour. 
Kevin, considering the history of Colonial, in regards to your legacy, how impactful is it to you to have a victory at Colonial on your resume? Oh, it, it's, it's huge. It was, I, I can say out of my four wins, uh, not to take anything away from any other golf tournaments, um, it's the biggest win I have. Um, I mean, the, the, you look at the wall of champions on that first team, you look at the players, that goes down the list. And you go from, you know, Jack Nicholas to Lee Trevino, Ben Hogan, and then you got the current era of Justin Rose, Jordan Speed, uh, and the list goes on. I, I'm sorry if I left somebody out, but and the, 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 the list of the champions, Phil Mickelson, um, Sergio Garcia, I mean, it's just an endless list of great, great players and guys that are in the Hall of Fame and are going to be in the Hall of Fame. So to add my name on that list, it, 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 was, it was very special. Um, we've seen on and off the golf course the what, what looks like a healthy, fun relationship that you have with Tiger Woods. We go back to the players last year. This week we're showing the Tiger Slam documentary where he won four consecutive major championships. Mm -hmm. How would you describe that accomplishment by Tiger in the early 2000s? Four majors in a row. I don't think we'll ever see something like that, at least in my lifetime. Um, it's never been done. I mean, uh, Grand Slam is obviously hasn't been done, but Tiger Slam, I think it's just as good as a Grand Slam. He won four majors in a row. I actually have a signed flag of 2001 Masters um, by Tiger Woods, uh, his fourth major in a row that he won. I have it signed, and it's, it's up in one of my rooms that I keep, and I'll, I'll keep it forever. Um, and it's, it's, if you're a golfer and you understand majors and the history of golf, that flag, anybody that comes to my house, they look at that flag, they go, oh my God, how did you get this flag? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be worth quite a bit of, bit of money, and I'm sure you're not going to sell it. And, and finally, we, uh, we're all having fun with our families at home during these tough times, and you posted something on social media with your daughter, Sophia, and that plaid jacket, and it was quite entertaining. And, and your daughter is a star in the making. We've seen that on the golf uh -huh. course as well. Where did you get the idea, and how much fun was it to, to do that with Sophia? Well, you know, Sophia is not shy of the camera. Oh, here it is. Uh, so <laughs> I, I, I got the plaid jacket. I mean, obviously, the colonial champion gets a plaid jacket. I got it in the mail. And I was thinking of some creative ways to, you know, have fun with this thing, you know. Um, and my management company, um, uh, a lady named Katie from there, was giving me a recommendation saying, you know, just put it on her and see how it looks on her. And then my wife came up with the idea. It was, how about a TikTok video? So I was like, you know what? That's perfect. Let's, I know exactly what song to put it with. So we, we, we did it, and um, it was a lot of fun. And uh, I, I'm getting a, a pretty good uh, response on my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram, you know, KevinNon915. Uh, it's been great. I put it on my daughter's Instagram, and, and she's been getting some great comments. So we really enjoyed it. We're enjoying the comments. We're enjoying the feedback. And um, you know what? It was a lot of fun. We're going we're gonna to probably keep watching this for a while. <laughs> Kevin and Sophia Na, TikTok superstars. Hey, Kevin, it was good talking to you. Look forward to seeing you at Colonial very, very soon. Thanks, Todd. Hope to see you soon. Golf Central Update, brought to you by TaylorMade.